Hello everyone. Today we are going to start our new topic that is subset selection and predictive analytics. Okay. Still now in the previous videos we have learned about linear regression and multiple regression. So in multiple regression we get lot of outputs. So from that lot of outputs, how to select the required output? It means how to select the correct output. So for that sake we are using this subset selection. Okay. Don't feel that. The lines or the points are very lengthy. If you understand the topic, you can write it by your own. Okay. So let's see subset selection. What is subset selection here? Subset selection is a way of selecting the subset of the most relevant features from the original features set by removing the redundant, irrelevant, and no or noisy features. Okay. See from the output, we should select the particular output by how by removing the redundant irrelevant or noisy features okay but we should select these all the categories to select an output that is better than the previous outputs okay so for developing while developing the machine learning model only a few variables in the data set are useful for building the model and the rest features are either redundant or irrelevant suppose if you are constructing a house only some things are useful and some are not useful for your constructing construction of house okay so that unuseful data or unuseful things are being removed in this subset selection only useful things only useful sets are used here okay so if we input the data set with all these redundant and irrelevant features it may negatively impact and reduce the overall performance and accuracy of the model Okay, by keeping these all unwanted things in the data set, we'll get a noisy errors and a somewhat it will be a disturbance. It will be a disturbance for the whole data set. Okay, so in that case, we are selecting by using the subset selection. Okay, here it is very important to identify and select the most appropriate features from the data and remove the irrelevant or less important features, which is done with the help of feature selection and machine learning. Okay. By using machine learning algorithms, we will select some of the sets which is useful for our predictions. Okay. Next, future selection is one of the important concept of machine learning. This subset selection is also called as feature selection also. Okay. Don't be worried. And uh, which highly impacts the performance of the model as machine learning works on the concept of garbage in, garbage out. Okay. This machine learning algorithms somewhat it helps to garbage in and garbage out also. It means it allows the errors and later on it will be deleting the errors. So it consists of both the concepts garbage in and garbage out. In that case we are using this subset selection to select the error and to remove the error. Okay. So we always need to input the most appropriate and relevant data set to the model in order to get a better result. Okay. Next, what is this feature selection techniques? We have feature selection techniques two types that is supervised feature selection and unsupervised feature selection. Okay, in the feature selections techniques we used only supervised feature selections. It means it has all the labeled data. It is in the form of, uh, it means it is, a, it is in the good format. Unsupervised feature selection means it does not have any uh, format. Whereas in supervised feature selection, we have the formats. Okay. In supervised feature selection, also we have three methods that is filters method, embedded methods, and wrappers method. Okay. In this, we are using wrappers method. Okay. By comparing filters methods and embedded methods, we are using this wrappers method, which is very easy. Okay. Let's see how. See, subset selection is a technique used in statistics and machine learning. To choose a subset of features or variables from the largest larger set okay if we have large number of data sets it is very difficult to choose which one is correct so this subset selection makes our job easy to select which one is correct okay the goal is to identify the most relevant and informative subset that optimizes a certain criterion such as model performance interpretability or efficiency okay there are various methods for subset selection. They can be broadly categorized into three types. I already told that in the previous in the previous picture you, you can see here in wrappers method we have 
forward feature selection backward feature selection this all okay with with this uh, we'll use some three three types okay first one is forward selection so in what is forward selection how we are using this forward selection and subset selection procedure start with an empty set and iteratively add variables that most improve the model performance here in forward selection it consists of empty set that means that set has no any variables in it it is an a completely empty set and iteratively it means com continuously it will add a variable where which variable it will add which improve the model performance that variable is added to the empty set okay let's see how the algorithm steps work here evaluate model with one variable and select that select the one with the best performance okay which is the best performance should be selected here and add one variable at a time selecting the variable that contributes the more improvement okay by selecting the variable you should have you should see that by selecting this variable what is the performance based on this variable okay you should think that and you should add a variable in it stop when a certain criterion is met example model performance no longer improves it means adding continuously iteratively adding a variable to it after adding all the variables it is no change means the change is not coming after adding uh, so many relevant uh, variables also then you stop there okay adding the relevant uh, variables is okay but if we adding a next variable if it changes its performance it's okay but it is not changing means stop there okay next backward elimination what is meant by backward elimination here procedure start with all the variables and iteratively remove the least valuable variable okay in the previous one it is a empty set and forward selection it is a empty set and we are we are adding the variable to it but whereas in backward elimination the added variables will be removed how they are removed which has least value which has least value will be removed here okay what are the algorithm steps here evaluate the model with all the variables and select the one with the least contribution it means it does not make any sense having in the data set that variable is removed here okay next remove one variable at a time remember one thing in forward selection and backward elimination you should have add only one one variable at a time or remove one variable at a time you cannot add multiple variables and you cannot remove multiple variables at a time okay evaluate the model with all the variables and select the one with the least contribution remove one variable at a time excluding the variable with the least impact it it means it does not have any impact on your data set that variable should be removed in the backward elimination and you should add the worth worth variable in forward selection okay it makes sense but in backward elimination which does not make sense will be removed here okay next stop when a certain criterion is met okay after removing all the variables the performance of the data set will be improved that time you stop everything okay these two steps here are completed and next step by selection after adding the variable after removing the variable we have step by selection okay procedure combine elements of both forward and backward selection okay in this step by selection you should add both forward uh, variables and uh, backward uh, selection variables okay evaluate models with one variable and select the one with the best performance okay at each step add or remove one variable based on its impact okay next continue until the addition or removal of variables no longer improves the model you know uh, when we are adding a variable if it is changes it means it is a, a needed one whereas if it does not change it is not a needed one so by comparing both the forward and the backward selection you combine both the elements and check whether it is improving or not improving the performance if it is improving you can add if it is does not improving you can remove it okay these are the three steps for the subset selection okay next these models are often used in the context of linear regression or other statistical models that means these models helps in the linear regression or other statistical model 
where the goal is to improve model fit or reduce overfitting that means if we have any errors or if we have any un unrelevant data or any misused data it can be easily removed by the subset selection okay the choice of the subset selection method depends on the specific goals the nature of the data and the characteristics of the model okay next it's important to note that subset selection should be done carefully okay considering the potential for overfitting or loss of information cross validation and other model evaluation techniques are often employed to ensure that the selected subset generalized well new data okay don't confuse i'll explain with an example then you'll understand clearly okay here see an example predicting housing prices as i told before you are going to explain with the uh, predicting houses prices okay what are the features of predicting housing prices here square footage x1 number of bedrooms x2 distance of city center x3 presence of nearby schools x4 crime rate in the neighborhood x5 so these are all the futures for a predicting house price okay if you are buying a house you are, you need to check all these features right so these are the futures of predicting house prices and next target variable what we are doing here we are we are conducting a test for what house housing price here okay so the target variable our target is to find the price of the house so that is a target variable here subset selection process what is the subset selection process in previous i told you we have three steps right so first let's start with the uh, initial consideration begin by considering all the features x1 to x5 okay here we are considering the all the features that is x1 to x5 for predicting the housing price okay these are we are considering what is the feature importance here evaluate the importance of each feature individually you should check the each feature individually importance okay in predicting the housing prices identify which features contribute the most to explaining the variance in the house prices that means you should estimate which feature is most important to estimate the housing price you need to understand that okay next correlation analysis examine the pair pairwise correlations between features you should do examine means square footage and number of bedrooms these are two pair okay by these two pair can we estimate the house yes or no you should think that okay if we get this answer by comparing these two pairs then these are the important features like right we cannot delete this if it is not important you should delete that okay examine the pairwise correlations between the features identify if they are redundant features that provide similar information next step by iterative process i told that you should iteratively add and variable okay implement a step by process of adding or removing features based on their impact on the model start with a subset of features and iteratively evaluate the model performance okay you should check if we add this element it is improving our model performance or not if you are deleting this what will happen next you should estimate that okay add features that improve the model or remove features that do not contribute significantly okay next final subset what is final subset here select the final subset of features that optimizes the model predictive performance interpretability or any other defined criteria okay you have complete you have computed with all the features and you have selected then what is the outcome example outcome here after subset selection process the model might identify that square footage x1 number of bedrooms x2 and distance of city center x3 are the most significant features for predicting house prices after comparing all the features which is the important for finding the house price what square footage and number of bedrooms and distance and distance to the city center these three is the important variables here okay and the rest of two that is x4 and x5 is not important for predicting the house so that are not uh, that are not relevant to our data set right so we are removing in what way we are removing that by backward elimination okay these features may provide a good balance between predictive power and simplicity okay